Since 1980, the term Quattro has been synonymous with superior driving dynamics. Former 400-metre runner Ewan Thomas from Wales and precision driver Paul Swift from England, two people with performance and speed in their blood, offer to test the superiority of Quattro technology at the thresholds of stress, traction and power transmission in several driving situations. Test Candidate 1, an Audi A5 with front-wheel drive. Its 2.7 TDI engine is a powerhouse with 190 PS. Let's see how well that power can be transferred to the road. Two, one, go. That's it. Stay nice and wide in this first one. Double the brakes, that's it. Oh, nothing yet to come. That's it. Now hold on to this inside. Try not to get too much understeer. That's it. Power, power, power now. That's it. Just lift off now. Turn in. Cross the finish. <laughs> the automobile displayed very good handling qualities in the curves, but the Quattro should have mastered the slalom with more confidence. So let's take a closer look at the transmission concept. Front drive relays the power to the two leading wheels. The forces of propulsion pull the vehicle. Consequently, in the curves, the automobile is drawn from the front end round the bend. By contrast, a vehicle using Quattro technology is propelled by all four wheels. In the process, in the basic layout, the driving force is distributed in a 40% to 60% ratio between the front and rear axles. When a Quattro enters a curve, this power distribution means that it is pulled by the front wheels while the rear wheels push. Distribution of the driving force in this way among all of the wheels provides better transverse dynamics. The danger of over- and understeering is markedly reduced. This makes higher curve speeds with more safety possible. And now it's the Quattro's turn. With its ability to push and pull simultaneously, Ewan should notice the difference in handling characteristics. Go! Great start. You can feel the difference straight away. Nice and tight in this corner here. So keep over the left. That's it. Power, power, power all the way through here and then hard on the brakes now. It's good. No, don't go in here too hot. Stay over the right. Gives you a better line in the next corner. That's it. Lift off. Turn in. Oh! <laughs> And across the finish. It felt so much more responsive, like around the corners, grip straight away. It felt a different car. Yeah. Definitely grip it. Certainly off the start, I know you could feel it kick down there. Yeah. It, it was definitely quicker for me. Felt good. This surface is as smooth as ice. To raise the stakes, we've activated a sprinkler system on top of it all. We've got sprinklers ready. Yep. Make it even more interesting for you. Right. Just imagine that you're on a really, really icy road here. Yeah. That's it. And release the brake there. And you've got, straight away you've got grip. I thought it would be spinning everywhere and it, it's not. And I'm actually giving it quite a bit of revs off the lights. It's not like yeah, I'm trying to yeah. pull away slowly. It's all about harnessing that quattro, isn't it? Yeah. You've got all, all that power going through four separate wheels. All the time it's changing the grip, it's changing the drive to different wheels. It doesn't happen over a few seconds. This is all happening within one second, you know, it's, it's searching all the time. It's very clever. Winter is the time of year when Quattro technology really shows its strength. A two-wheel drive runs the danger of losing its road adherence and can even break away. The all-wheel Quattro, however, constantly analyzes how much grip the individual tires have. When driving over a slick surface, the torque-sensitive center differential redistributes the power variably and without delay. The rear-end-oriented basic design of 40 to 60 percent between front and rear axle can be adjusted up to a ratio of 20 to 80 percent. It's unbelievable. So I'm trying to lose it here now, I'm going left yeah. and right. I'm steering quite hard to try yeah. to spin and it's just finding grip. The wheel's actually breaking. When you're pushing on on one side there, you can feel the wheel taking the power away from you and distributing it to another wheel. Yeah. You know, imagine someone's panicking here. Oh, yeah. I'm skidding, yeah. oh, oh, oversteer. And it's sorting it all out for yeah. you. The Quattro system just won't let me lose it, really. Yeah. It's almost idiot-proof. <laughs> if I, if I <laughs> dare <laughs> <laughs> Ewan is now going to find out why a vehicle with front-wheel drive is not the best option for breakdown recovery on soft surfaces, despite a motor with considerable power. All right, we're going to try and uh, pull away, yeah? Let's give it a go. 
Oh yeah. Okay. Lift off, lift off, lift off. That's it. I'll try again. That's it, you've got it there. Just keep feeding it in nice and gentle. Now lift off, lift off. That's it, feel for the torque there. Can you feel it biting? Yeah. We're not getting anything in there, are we? Stop. Maybe try the quarter then. Yeah. On slick, or as we have here, muddy surfaces, the Quattro drive will always be superior to a two-wheel drive as far as power transmission is concerned. Adhesion is extremely low on soft surfaces. But as long as there is even minimal surface contact, the Quattro is able to convert the energy distributed among all four wheels into propulsion. In extreme situations like this, the electronic differential lock, EDL, can even divert the power to one single wheel. The risk of spinning tires causing the vehicle to sink into the soft ground is distinctly reduced. Have you got it there? Yep. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. The difference in performance is astounding. 